Okay, welcome guys. So this is my level 25 build. If you have been wanting to know what it actually is, uh, what my plans are, what I've done so far. But we're going to cover what I'm using for my damage, what I'm using for my heals, as color is a part DPS, uh, crowd control and the damage. And then he switches to the healing side, which can be so much more dominant for bosses. It's unbelievable. But we're going to go on to what I'm currently wearing at the moment with the this, sorry, this is all just going to, I'm just going to get health to 10 and the rest is just going to go on Magicka. Stamina, you don't even need kind of thing that I can see anyway. But at the moment I was getting this to 10 and the rest goes on Magicka. So the gear, I'm wearing too heavy, that was my Facebook, I'm wearing too heavy, so which is the helmet and the chest, mainly for the big armor boost and also I can get a huge benefits out of all the passes from the medium uh, the heavy armor sorry and then five light the it's all meant to be of the seducer by the way everything's meant to be of the seducer so everything costs three percent less than magic so but this I forgot to craft in the set thing so I'm just being silly with it but as you can see it's all the uh, medium armor and, and the two heavy all high health uh, that might Imperial crafted the amulets and rings. They all just reduce cost, reduce cost, reduce cost. Because when everything is get when it's done so much like this, plus your passives that do it, things become so much cheaper. It's unbelievable. And the staff, of course, restoration staff. Put whatever you want on that shock damage or whatever. But it's still, I've got the increased total armor and spell resistance by six percent. Uh, and this one just increased the enchantment charge so my flame damage is stronger But I probably should do it with the defending as well because that's pretty pretty decent 6% is pretty high But let's move on to skills. So we start with dark magic skills the, as the crowd control way uh, These are very 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 must-have spells one for the time being to start with it's Crystal Fragment, yes everything will change later on down the line but as you can't get things till later on you, you kind of stuck with what you get to start with but Crystal Fragment is fantastic, it's a high damage spell it's got a 28 meter range so you can blast that before you even need to stick any crowd controls, control stuff on so you can blast that a fair distance away, it, sometimes it does an insta cast and it does it a lot more regularly than you actually think So. It, so you can just be in midst of battle, press it, it'll just blast a very heavily damaged uh, uh, like projectile at the enemy. But the main thing is Shattering Prison. This is fantastic. I'm going to show you guys a bit of fighting with it later after I've gone through everything. But the Shattering Prison, as you can see with the area, it's uh, 3 meters wide and 15 meters long. It is... So basically you can trap everything in there, they're completely immobilized for nearly 5 seconds, 4.9 seconds and then it explodes for 77 magic damage. So by the time that 5 seconds are done, you've already laid down some heavy heavy damage on them and then that just explodes. When it explodes, just cast another one and <laughs> freeze them in place. They won't even get to you, you know what I mean? And then after that... The passives, uh, ignore the negate magic, I accidentally clicked on that, but it doesn't matter. The, uh, remember, that one's maxed out, I've only got half there, half there, I've not even touched that one yet. But this one reduces the, the magic, of, well this actually costs, is what it's, it's meant to say, because I've googled it properly. Reduces the cost of your, your abilities by 5%. Um, this one, if you hit an enemy with the dark magic spell, it gives you 3% health. Remember, I've only got one, so it can either be 5 or a 6, whatever it decides to go to. right? So that means when I capture all them people in that that basically immobilized sort of crystal sphere, uh, I gain a chunk of health back, uh, depending on how many people. And then this one increases the duration of dark magic spells by 10%. So that's only half, so that'll go up to 2. Um, and this, well, that'll probably go from... 4.9 seconds to probably like 5.5 seconds, whatever. So that could that's quite a, a long jump as well. That's quite a decent amount. So that's really cool. So basically, you just immobilize them for longer, and then you got more chance to like play about and kite them and stuff like that. This one, obviously, when you get to it, you'll get it anyway. Just increase your crit chance uh, of everything with the dark magics. So these two are handy. 
But onto Daedric Summoning. When I only use the uh, Twilight Matriarch when I'm doing the DPS. Obviously, when I, I'm in my heals, I've got both summons, but I'll cover that in a second. But the Twilight, the reason why it's the Matriarch is because they heal you. When you're at 35%, Remember, you're trying to put all this output damage, and if there's some like archer or, or whatever that's shooting you from afar, yeah, and you do realize your health dropped quite a bit, you can at least get a really decent amount of health regen. Plus, just having one uh, summon thing bound into your slot get, gives you a chance to get a huge benefit from everything else, like this. Um, the player receives 50% of Magicka, and one of the summon creatures are killed. Yeah, so obviously this guy he doesn't have a lot of health, but he's very handy. He does like a fire distance. Yeah, he shoots lightning from a distance. So when I'm trapping them in the spheres, he's at least hammering down extra DPS uh, as well as me, which is handy, right? The power stone uh, reduces the cost of ultimate abilities by 15%. You don't need to have anything put in there. It just reduces, like you don't, it doesn't have to do anything with the uh, Daedric summoning skill. This is just a fantastic passive for overall. So 15% off as, uh, like your ultimate is a crazy drop, right? Uh, the Daedric protection increased plays health regen uh, when you've actually got a summoning slotted. So this summon slotted, so my health regens jump by 10%. Uh, obviously that would probably go to 20% when I've actually got the second one out. And the expert summoner. Uh, and what's the actual damage? Okay, the Wing Twilight damage will increase. See, that's even better now to, to actually have read that and known that. And obviously that'll probably jump to, is it out of two? I'll probably jump to 10%. So my actual guy will blast out a lot of damage whilst everyone's frozen. Right, so that's why I've got him. So he can actually blast some heals on me and I can benefit bits and bobs. Storm calling. The only one using here is Lightning Splash. Obviously I've not morphed it yet, but this is fantastic because when they're frozen, you can then put an AOE on them where it's constantly raining lightning down and people can actually come down and do a synergize and do a very powerful sort of shock synergy with it. Right, but when I morph this, it'll be a, the, the like lightning splash or whatever it's called, but I'll talk about that later. That'll be like a level 30 build. And of course this, you just want everything as per normal. Increase the magic regeneration by 10%, that's huge. Increases damage of storm corn and abilities. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, that's our one so far, so I'll go up to 6%. Disintegrate, chance of all lightning spells to, to disintegrate guys at low health. So that's why that's handy, because that's hitting everyone. That's got the AoE that hits everyone. So you got a chance to like instantly disintegrate them. Uh, and that'll be even better at 10% it'll, it'll go to. And obviously this one will just make it cheaper. All right, that's still a way away. That's why uh, some things may change. But the ultimate, you want energy overload because this DPS is this is more for just general mobs, everything kicking them out, and this can stack your percentage for the uh, ultimates can go up to a thousand percent. And when you're using it, it doesn't just use it; it saves out a thousand. You activate it, and more you're using it, it'll, it'll just drop it down. It'll go to like 990, 980 as you're using it, and it's very powerful really powerful but energy overload this actually restores my magicka whilst i'm using it so i could be shit out of magicka full health stick this on get close to them blast them regen my magicka turn it off and keep on pounding away or stick another uh stick another Chris, uh, shadowing prison on them right so that's that's so far uh, and the only thing from our actual destruction staff we're having elemental blockade Right, the reason why the blockade and not the exploding version is because when people are trapped, this now lasts longer. It's a much wider spread and it lasts longer. So you are constantly laying down heavy damage in a wide area. So if they're captured in some weird spots, you're going to get them and it just lasts longer. So you can just spam it, spam it, spam it. And they're stuck in one place and they're constantly getting ticks on them, which is really cool. And when they're free, walking towards you, they're just a huge carpet of of flame death no matter where they're walking right obviously this is yeah i've just not got the skill points yet but obviously getting this uh destruction staff this just uh, does the extra damage where's it saying for the frost damage fire fire attacks increase critical strike rating with destruction staff spells so if you're doing mad ticks with all these uh 
floor of fire, you've got a chance of doing crits, penetrating all, dest all destruction spells by past 10%. So obviously, chance of doing 10% more damage is what that sounds like, if anything. And this one, increased chance of applying fire, shock, damage, blah, blah, blah. So yes, you want people to be burning away because that's more fun. People burning to death. <laughs> Highly amusing. Uh, everything else, yeah, you can ease, the heavy attacks are actually pretty damn sort of powerful with this, so you can even blast a heavy attack, then your crystal shard, and then start weighing everything down, uh, and this, of course, uh, restore 77 magic when killing an enemy with the destruction spell, and a lot of people die from that, you'll see in a sec how many, you can lay down about four of these whilst they're trapped, and that's a hell of a lot of ticks coming down, right? But that is it for the destruction. I will show you once I cover the restoration side. It's uh, actually, that's actually gone on for quite a long time. It's 11 minutes already. So I'm going to show you how the destruction side works. Um, but if you're fighting a boss, you have this storm charged Achenarch. Okay, this guy is unbelievable. You get the, the charged version because he does a huge lightning aoe extremely powerful to everything instead of if you just get the normal one it just does a single lightning blast that hits one target this charge version does a crazy aoe thing and he's there for 18 seconds anyway and that's a long time for something to be in battle 18 seconds is a hell of a long time and they kill everything they are so damn handy but that's for bosses the other things for mobs unless you just really just want to wipe everything out extremely quick but anyway armor uh, we'll go into the armor of course you're getting everything here everything you should be getting uh, I've got five pieces on so everything's 15% cheaper so remember with my armor I'm getting the seducer so it becomes three percent three percent three percent you can stack all that um, and that just makes everything so cheap uh, this one your regen my regen is 20% more spell warding uh, my spell resistance is pretty damn good. A current bonus, I mean, I've only got one so far, so when I get two on that, it'll be a lot higher. Prodigy uh, grants five percent for all spells, cause critical damage. Uh, while a light piece of set, yeah, well, once you got the five on, you get more of a chance to cause a crit. But this is all for later, so there's no point in covering it now. But that's what it is. There, consecration play spells ignore three percent of spell resistance. Yeah, so I can actually do a lot more damage. It's just basically just doing more damage with that. And the heavy armor, the reason why you want it, just because it gives you a lot more armor when you stick it on. Yeah, increase your health regen, increase armor rating, uh, increases power and melee attack. So that's not really that important. So you won't need to get that. That you won't need to get. The rapid men increase healing received. So yes, you want that on because you do a lot of damn heals, right? And that's it. That. Uh, Rachel, of course, you just want everything destruction stuff already comes. I've got two out of three. Increase magic recovery whilst in combat. Fantastic. Get a magazine. I've only got two out of three. That should, will probably go to 11. Increase max magicka by 7%. Huge. And increase damage with cold fire or shock damage by that's out of three. So that'll probably be 6%. So you will become super powerful by the time you've got all that. But that is it for destruction. I don't want to cover the restoration because this video will go on for like half an hour and I just want to do the destruction side, the DPS version. All right, so that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully that helped you out. I will cover later builds further down the line. There's no point in showing you what I'm aiming for because it'll just be a bombardment of information. But I'm just showing you what to, what's very good to use. So now we're actually gonna do some fighting. What's that? Okay, let me see what stats are. Because it keeps doing that weird thing. There we go. So say these guys are here. I can just do like a crystal blast. It's on these shitty walls. Oh no, kill them straight away. I did it. Yeah. Okay, let me find something a lot stronger. That's not so pathetic. Okay, so I'm just going to show you some uh, ways to use this. Obviously, just using the crystal shard to start with because I'm at a distance. I could freeze them all, and I could just lay down this fire thing, and I can obviously just chuck bits and bobs down, but most of them are dead straight away, 
I don't even need to move that. What I'll do, I'll just run to something, I'll stand back, and I'll just blast all my shit at it and not let it move. Because usually I just stick the crystal shard, get that down, and I'll just blast. Oh, that guy's teleported to me. There we go. And I just do the crystal shard. So he didn't even touch me. Uh, it's just basically easy to survive and easy to not worry about things. I mean, I have messed up with my gear trying to make it cheaper. Because uh, I, I forgot to actually uh, get the traits on about limit magic regen. It's only one guy. So I can just blast the crystal. Not let it move. Blast some lightning. Just stack it down like that. So no biggie. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to seeing future builds. Uh, what I'll do now, I'll actually use the ultimate. So I'll get these down. Get that down. And I'll just blast these so you can see. You know, I mean, I, nothing, nothing even remotely happened there, and everyone just died. Barely even touched them. So I'll just. The crystal shard's always cool to just do heavy damage with. Yeah, so you can just see, it's so simple. Yeah, yeah, that down. I can just blast some more. I missed him there, but it's fine. But hopefully you can sort of see it's so standard. It's so yeah, it's just just easy to not worry about things, easy to not die. I mean my my gear's fucked as well. I've got like half that because I was at a a dolman with just me and some other guy and we just get getting rolled by storm arch and archers. Right, so I'll just get that again. These guys need to stop teleporting. Yeah, can you see the teleports, it ruins my thing. Well you can see the ticks, look at the ticks just popping up. Like I just keep doing ticks. Die. Okay. So yeah, so that is a very cool build. I think it's just a lot of hassle save. Yeah, I, can, I mean, crystal shards are tits. <laughs> it's so strong. You see the blood magic pop up to heal. Uh, let me see if I can find one more. Is that a master chest for me? This is a simple chest. I can't be bothered to open that. I'll just do these last ones just just for more fun. Yeah, see, so insta cast of that is so strong. Yeah, so there you go. Very dominant skills, extremely powerful. I don't even have my matriarch with me. He died without me even realizing. <laughs> but he's very due to change. But well, that's completely down to personal preference. But that's it, guys. Hopefully, I helped you out. Don't forget to give me a like, subscribe to support my channel. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye. -bye.